Hi there, it's my lady, and I'm here to bring you your December 15 through the 31st, 2020 reading. Yes, I want to wrap up the 2020 readings already, okay? So this is going to be for all the fire signs, okay? This is going to be your career, your current situation, and love. And then I have an extra... Uh, three cards on the bottom to clarify and sum everything up for you. So let's jump right in there. Let's start with the sign of Aries. Aries, you have risk coming up in your job and career. And why is that, Aries? Okay, it's saying that you have come to a place where you are asked to take a risk and try something new and different. Okay. Hold on, let me get lucky out the way. Always come in and bless us with her presence. <laughs> okay, so you taking a risk here, Aries. I am showing something um, unforeseen, so it's something that, uh, that you do not see it coming, although you do think about it or you're, you have thoughts about it. And again, it has to do with your career. Uh, and um, I just heard ways of making money. Okay, it is um, asking you here, recommending you to uh, cleanse or clean your aura. Okay, um, a lot of the times and uh, we don't realize this or uh, do not want to accept it is what I want to say. Is um, um, being around other people, you may pick up, uh, you may pick up other uh, negative vibes. Okay, so it's telling you to cl cleanse yourself from those negative vibes. All right. Um, and then at least you'll have a chance if you're taking this risk is what I'm hearing. In your current situation, I'm showing denial. And why is that so, um, Aries, that you have denial there? It's letting you know that not everything is in reach. Okay, sometimes... Um, the divine has to create distance between what you want and when or how you are meant to receive it. Okay, so the divine is basically putting out for you to work for it, all right? You got to work for it. Nothing is uh, hand given to us. And with that said, I'm showing here um, possible um, consequences. I am showing some uh, desperation. And I'm also showing justice here where there's a truth that needs to be accepted or truth that needs to be faced on. Okay. Now, for your love position, um, you have the high priestess of power, of fire, excuse me. Okay. And right in your element areas. And she basically um, is uh, chosen here for your reading. Okay. To remind you of creativity and passion okay you um now this love section doesn't necessarily have to be friends it could be it could be friends at rather love it could be uh let me okay this love section here doesn't necessarily have to uh talk uh tell, talk to us about uh relationship it could also be friendship it could also be co-workers all right so because it's Pointing out to friendship here, okay? And maybe, um, all right, maybe your friends are keeping you away from, I want to see your love uh, interest, all right? They're, um, I want to say you're spending a lot of time with your friends, and I don't think your love partner is too happy with that, okay? And the reason being, this is what I have to say here, okay? I do see the Hierophant here, which to me is like commitment or a union okay i also see the seven of swords which to me is secrets that will be revealed all right and why or for who because of this king of swords here the king of swords is an air sign which is gemini libra aquarius sign okay so something needs to be revealed here okay it will be revealed something whatever it is isn't all that good okay based on this love section where there's anguish and there's um basically the, i, I want to say maybe even the evil eye okay um so i would really 
tell you what will help you here if anything Aries I hate to end the uh, year with something like this where it's like so uh, bitter almost do the spiritual cleansing here let me pull out two more cards at least okay I do see money I, I see money here all right and this is what is letting you this is what it's telling you to do you need to change your attitude Aries need to change your attitude okay and I almost want to say that whoever you're dealing with has a very strong intuition and is on point with things all right so they're not really gonna let you get past uh, certain things here all right so let's I guess do it the right way okay so that was Arius okay now please like share and subscribe leave a comment i love reading your comments so let's go find out what's going on with leo for december 15 through the 31st 2020 uh wow i really i'm shuffling these cards and i feel like everybody's pretty much getting almost the same message but okay so Leo, let me finish pulling out the rest of your cards here okay so see what at work a lot of work big plans big projects big things wow all right i'm gonna finish pulling out the rest of the cards so then we could tie everything together nice okay I do see. Okay. Alright. Okay. Let's get the clarifying cards for you. Okay. So this is what I'm showing for you, Leo. Leo, why do you, why do you have the vision card here in your career? It's letting you know that it means that no matter what you lose in your life, sometime, something better will replace it. Okay. Now, because it's in your career and work section, um, I want to say not all projects are gold i just heard um not not all situations are going to turn out the way we want them to but it doesn't mean for you to give up okay it doesn't it doesn't mean for you to give up okay i see you hard at work i see big things big plans big ideas okay and i do see progression here all right so there's progress you just uh, it's basically letting you know to keep doing what you're doing in the current situation though there is a message here okay and what what is that message letting you know here in your current situation leo is letting you know okay that you're about to get a message with special uh with a special meaning okay and this special meaning that you're gonna get um I do want to say that it looks like it's something from the past or possibly something you're not letting go of is what I just heard. Okay. There's love and desire here. Okay. And it's, there's consistency. Like I want to say that it's, I, okay. I want to say it's something that either you're not letting go of or they're not letting go of you. Okay, now this is in your current uh, situation, but I'm also going to, I'm going to jump right into the love one because I need to explain something to you here because this all ties in when it comes to your current situation, which happens to be your highlight. Okay, now understanding is what's falling in your love um, section here, Leo, and what it's letting me know with that, okay, is that, um, it's asking for deep and true 
comprehension. Like, in other words, there is something possibly that you're not understanding or you're not accepting. Okay? There's uh, infidelity here. It is in your uh, love section here. Okay? So is um, uh, sadness here. Okay? So you may not be happy in a situation. Apparently, it looks like there, there has been some infidelity uh, there. And I almost feel like, um, I, I, I heard, um, where you were sleeping on it. Now, to me, that leads me to believe that you trust it. Like, you trust so much, you loved so hard, okay? And you got hurt, is what I'm hearing, what I'm feeling, okay? Now, I, I want you to hear me out here, okay? This five of wands is letting me know that yes there is you there is um life studies learning experiences good health and you're very not knowledgeable okay there is a queen of pentacles here and there's a king of wands this is in your element here can possibly be you Okay, um, uh, in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then there's this Queen of Pentacles, which is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, is this the person that we're talking about, or, or she may, he or she may have this energy, or have this element in their chart? Okay, um, let me look a little bit deeper into this here, because we know how we're going to turn out with the career but i'm trying to find out how they're going to turn out okay so hear me out leo you're going to be shown the light okay it's like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel okay and it's actually letting us know that you're going to obtain what you want all right i'm going to leave it at that because i feel like you know what it means all right you are going to obtain what you want All right, so that was Leo. All right. Let's go find out what's going on with Sagittarius from December 15th through December 31st, 2020. Okay. Sagittarius got some nice cards so far just the um the current situation is a little um little something but we'll let you know what it means here in just a few minutes let's pull out everything else okay get this going So, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, you have the movement card in the career uh, section. And what is that trying to tell you, Sagittarius? It basically is telling you, okay, that uh, this is a time of change and movement, okay? And it's actually going, I mean, there's actually going to be a wonderful surprise, Okay, I do see a search of something here, okay, where I feel like you've been searching for something like this, and it's going to happen for you, okay? Now, I do want to let you know, though, um, there um, happens to be some secrets or some things going on behind the scenes that I just want to say you have to stay on top of your paperwork, is what it's letting me know here, okay? Stay on top of your paperwork. There's a reminder here. All right, and what is this reminder telling you here, um, Scorpio? Um, in the current situation, it's telling you that sometimes um, 
the universe has to remind you of lessons you have already learned okay and here it's telling you that you're taking a chance there's transformation and there's an even give and take i do for you you do for me okay it almost um also I i'm feeling it more like um we can't take um we can't take anything for um oh how's, how's it said we can't take anything for granted okay we have to um we have to count our blessings thank the divine for our blessings okay and um not take anything for granted okay because there are other people that are in worse situations and yet you know you may complain or maybe fight in the situations that you may possibly be in but i mean other people can be worse and that, that's something that you have to uh, look at and i feel that this reminder here that the vine is uh, pointing out to you is to remember okay uh, just to remind you of uh the uh of a lesson you were already uh learned that you already learned okay not to take things for granted now as far as your uh love section here the high priestess of spirit wow that's nice okay and what is that telling you sagittarius in your love section she is telling you she's telling you sagittarius okay that that um <clears throat> that um there's help there is help when you need it okay and on this journey all right you will find an answer to your question consider that there is an invisible spirit within all living things okay and that's basically letting you know that you have a i want to let you i want to say like uh uh your guardian angel, ancestors, um, a, your spirit guides, you know, that guide you and um, that uh, they're, they're with you, okay? Know that all things, events, and experiences um, together, okay, is like a magical web that can be seen only in the darkest nights and not be human, uh, not by human eyes okay so again that's all pointing out to uh, the uh spirit basically uh the divine okay you will know the answer to what soon enough all right if you're wondering what or why okay when it comes to this love uh, this love section here for you okay you can step forward knowing that some things are meant to remain a mystery like in other words some things were meant uh are meant to be unsaid like in other words it's, it's best that it wasn't said is what i just heard okay there is work here that needs to be done there are spiritual cleansings that you're, uh, you're being rec um, asked and recommended to do okay so that there can be consistency here in this love section for you all right now here uh there's always going to be jealousy always going to be some rivals or whatnot ignore that okay focus is what is asking you to do sagittarius and it's telling me that you are um you are going into 2021 blindly okay and it's going to be a new beginning for you okay and that's a beautiful reading for you so that's what i have for you sagittarius that's what i have for you fire signs um here's wishing you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy and prosper Prosperous New Year. Bye-bye for now.